Yo, what's happening people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you are all doing well today. I really do hope that. Welcome back to Chelsea News, the daily series where I look at the football headlines regarding Chelsea Football Club, consolidate it into a manageable package and present it to you, the viewer. And boy, have we got an episode for you guys today. We're talking about Ross Barkley out. How do you feel about that? Could he be going to new super rich kids on the block, Newcastle United, to play for Rafa Benitez? I don't know, but the headlines are saying it's a possibility. Chelsea could make a profit on Ross Barkley, so we're going to talk about that. But the man who scored the winning goal in the World Cup all those years ago, Mario Goetze. Such a shining prospect. Sounds like he should be 34 now, but he's only 27 and he's available on a free. And you know what? Chelsea tried to sign Mario Goetze back in a so back in day, a few years ago. Let's talk about him a little bit. And finally, and probably most interestingly for me, Josh King of Bournemouth. Apparently four of the top six clubs are interested in Josh King, who's 28 years old. A prime ting here. Experience in the Premier League showed he can score goals in the Premier League against really fierce opposition. Only one year left on his deal. Could be a bargain. Could Josh King be the perfect rotational striker with Tammy Abraham? Proven. So lots of exciting stories to get into today and ones that I am really keen on getting your thoughts on. So remember to get down into the comment section below as I'm talking about said stories. And also a quick reminder to you there watching this video to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Hey, you don't have to man, if you want to. That would be great. If you do, make sure you hit the bell notifications icon and why not just like the video, please help a brother out. <laughs> Let's get into it. Just notice this light here. That's really annoying. Hopefully you don't see it in the video, but you probably can. Anyway, let's start with the news. Right, let's start with the tune at Newcastle United. If big Rafa Benitez is to return to Newcastle, he would want to make some changes. First off, I can see Rafa returning and I can see the fans loving it. He is obviously a good coach and he loved the people of Newcastle. They pretty much were the only reason why he stayed at the club for so long. All he wanted from the owner was a bit of money to spend to try and actually develop the team. He didn't get that from Mike Ashley, of course, so he left to go to China, but he could return. And if he returns under new ownership, who give him some of that sweet dough, he could be looking to make some serious changes. The news reports are saying that he'd be looking at the likes of John Stones and, rather interestingly, Ross Barkley. Basically, players that used to play the Everton. Obviously, we're not here to talk about John Stones. We're here to talk about one of Frank Lampard's favourite players, Ross the Boss Barkley. Now, Ross splits opinion amongst Chelsea fans. I, for one, quite like him. I don't think he should be starting every game, but I think he's a really good rotational player. He's really athletic, really fit, quite physically strong. Scores the odd long-range goal. He's got a lot better in terms of not wasting the ball or constantly passing. Essentially, just combining better and obviously the last two games that Chelsea played in competitive football with Billy Gilmore, Mason Mount and Ross Barkley in the midfield, Ross Barkley looked really good. Still I'm not gonna do a massive campaign for Ross Barkley if he was sold tomorrow I'd probably go meh and Newcastle would probably be a good move for him starting every single game an up-and-coming project probably other good players would start popping up around him but most importantly for Chelsea fans, Chelsea can make a decent profit on him. Ross has still got a decent amount of time left on his contract. He's just entering his prime now. After joining Chelsea, he became a full England international and played loads of Champions League games, Premier League games. So his value should have at least doubled in my opinion. Certainly at least in a normal transfer market, which I can concede we're not in at the moment. Chelsea bought him for £15 million, an absolute bargain considering the type of player he is. Full England international and loads of top tier experience and top tier competition. So you'd imagine Chelsea would at least double their money on him while also getting some good short term service out of the Scouser. Well, uh, what do you guys think about it? Get down in the comment section below. Would you cry for Ross Barkley? Probably not, but I kind of like him. But 
I still wouldn't mind if he weren't. Anyway, let's move on. A quick word on Mario Götze, who will be available on a free this summer. I was shocked to, to learn he's still only 27 years old. At one point, loads of people wanted him. Of course, he scored that all-important goal in the World Cup and had a pretty good career. I mean, probably never lived up to any sort of hype they should have done, if that makes sense. So you think, okay, World Cup winner, 27 years old, going but not free. Should Chelsea be looking at him? I mean... <laughs> Maybe he can replace Ross Barkley, huh? Free to sell Ross Barkley for 30, 40 million? Get Mario Goetz on a free transfer? Ding! Chelsea apparently actually tried to sign Mario Goetz back in 2015, but instead they ended up getting Pedro Rodriguez. Oh, Pedro Rodriguez! Which I'm very happy about. Pedro's had some excellent games for Chelsea. His service has been fantastic. Would you got the same from Mario Goetze? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't think Goetze is completely a busted flush or anything. Last, like, well, he's still young enough. Last season, he got seven Bundesliga goals and seven assists. 14 Bundesliga goal involvements is pretty decent for, like, a rotational player, TBH. Maybe this kind of player profile would be good to come in as a rotational player at his age with his international experience. I don't know. Really, this is a new story today because he is available on a free. Chelsea did try and sign him back in day, and he's still relatively young and in his prime. So, what do you think on the player? Is this someone Chelsea should be looking at, or should we just move on and talk about somebody else? I'll leave it up to you guys. <laughs> All right, next story and most interesting story of today. Josh King of Bournemouth, the player that everyone thinks is English, but isn't. <laughs> the Norwegian footballer is 28 years old and still has a couple of years, that's a bit unfair really, a few years of top tier football in him. Now, the thing is with Josh King is he's a proven Premier League performer. That alliteration, proven Premier League performer proven premiership performer Ugh. he's good man and i mean he's not great but he's good and apparently four of the top six clubs in the premier league are looking at joshua king and <laughs> i'll tell you why because like i said previously he's proven in this level of football and also he's got one year left on his deal at bournemouth it's rumored that a top club in england could secure the signature of this player for 20 million pounds 20 million pounds for a proven Premier League player. I've got to stop saying the proven Premier League player. That's a pretty dope price tag. And Bournemouth will want to sell them. They're one of the smaller Premier League clubs that will be hit massively by this financial crisis, the pause of football. Even if there are like certain uh, solidarity payments to Bournemouth from other clubs in the Premier League, they will suffer and they will look at all opportunities to make revenue. Maybe selling Josh King to a top four club like Chelsea Football Club. Now, I was thinking about this. Tammy Abraham will remain the number nine for Chelsea. So they're looking for a rotational striker, someone that can either play on a two or back up Tammy Abraham. Josh King should be happy to do that because he's generally starting or competing with Callum Wilson at Bournemouth. Now he's in his prime, he can look to do a step up, which could still be playing as a second striker for Chelsea. Think about it, it's true really, the, he'll get a lot more money in terms of his wages, he'll get to play Champions League games probably in his time at Chelsea, etc. And he'll get to play with some of the best footballers in the world. Tammy Abraham won't feel probably undermined by the transfer either. He'll know that he'll be coming to sort of rotate with him, help him out up top. Frank Lampard will feel safe in the knowledge that Josh King can score goals. Last season, he got 15 league goal contributions in the Premier League, even though he was sort of competing with Callum Wilson. Strong and fast and good on 1v1s. To be honest, Chelsea Football Club, Lampard, Grand of Sky, everyone would probably feel quite safe buying him as a number two, maybe shipping out Michy Batshuayi, probably making the same money for Batshuayi <laughs> and just immediately replacing him with uh, Josh King. Just try something different, a different type of footballer. I think it could work personally, and it does seem kind of interesting for me. So, what do you guys think? Would you take Josh King at Chelsea? Could he be the perfect rotational Premier League proven, that phrase again, striker, at the club, I think it's a good idea. I've been told by people before who support Bournemouth, they say um, 
Chelsea should be looking at him really, not Callum Wilson, when Callum Wilson was the name being touted around for such a long time. I'm keen on getting your thoughts and opinions, get down in the comment section below and express yourself. And if you've enjoyed the content I've provided for you guys today, I'd urge you all to like the video, subscribe to Football Therapy if you're new, come follow me on socials as well, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that should be happening soon, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I let me be.